<laughs> All right, so we'd like to welcome Charles Wall into our show, Text Nation TV, this week. We're actually interviewing him for his Kickstarter project, The Slingshot. And this is a great little project. If you guys can check him out, go to kickstarter.com. And in the search field, type in Slingshot, and you will find this guy. He has come up with an amazing product and <laughs> has been working a long time on it. And in case that you haven't seen this, the basic idea is... It looks like a slingshot. You guys have got to see this. Yeah, here we go. So, Check it out. Show, yeah, show it to us there, Charles. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about this. How did, you, how did this idea come about? You know, what, did, uh, what made you come about with this idea? Quick background. <clears throat> I did a Kickstarter project a year ago uh, that was thankfully unsuccessful because the product wasn't very good. Um, but in the meantime, from there to now, I still wanted to have a good um, smartphone stabilizer. So what I did was I took that product that was pretty complex and kind of whittled it down until I got to the elegantly simple slingshot. And what this is, it's uh, what well, you can see it on the Kickstarter site as well as at Waxum.net. But your smartphone fits in here in the cradle. Any smartphone with or without a case fits in the cradle. That gives you one-handed control when shooting, and your other hand can then run the phone. And, of course, it has a ball mount, so you can change the handle angle. Um, and then it also has tripod legs. That's my favorite they feature. Isn't that cool? They pop out of the handle, and it turns into a little tabletop tripod. Bing! Instantly. Which is actually what I'm using right now with my iPhone 4S um, sitting in one of my slingshots right in front of me, right there, point, 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 nerd. <laughs> and that's uh, what I'm using to do this uh, call with you guys. And then also what's really cool is the cradle unscrews off of the base with a quarter 20 thread right here. Right. So it mounts on any tripod. So you can put your phone on any tripod. And on the Kickstarter page and on our Vimeo page, you can see some uh, time-lapse uh, shots that I've done with that sitting on a tripod as well as sitting on just in this little slingshot on my chimney. It's kind of cool. <laughs> and on some of those Vimeo videos, you even show how you're walking through the woods, I believe it was, and you had a waterfall that you happened to, yep. you know, you were stabilizing as you were going through and showing, you know, this is what your camera looks like basically with the slingshot because we know that it's, smartphones are hard to hold and try, you're, you're trying to do multiple things with, exactly. you know, you're just trying, you're trying to do too much at once. So it's it's not really good. So this is how you came up with yep. the idea. And the and the thing I love about it is, like you said, you can stick any smartphone in there. It's not made for the iPhone 4. It's not made for the Android exactly. devices. It's not made for any particular smartphone. It's any smartphone that will fit in there all the way. And if you guys scroll on, on down to the bottom, near the bottom of his Kickstarter page, you will see the Galaxy Note fits into this thing. And if you know anything about the Galaxy Note, this is the largest smartphone out there. It is huge. Yeah, it's about as big as my head. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> and also, also the cradle will take a phone with or without a case. And that's so, like the iPhone 4S with the um, OtterBox Defender will fit in here, and you can also have your your charging cables go through the sides of the case. While, like right now, my headphone jack is plugged in to the side of my phone, right, right to the side of the cradle. That's awesome. And see, that makes it easy because, you know, every smartphone has their jacks in different places. Some are on the top, some are on the side, some are, you know, it's different for each individual design. You know, for the iPhone 4, it's on the top and you can just hang it right out the side. iPhone 4 has 3G, whatever, it doesn't matter. They all fit. And I, I love this idea because if you're trying to do a stabilized shot and you're running in hand with that camera and you happen to trip and fall and you have your good OtterBox case on your iPhone and you trip and fall, your phone's Covered. fine. Yeah, you're right. good. It's great. And and it it's really the simple things in life that I love because this is something that you obviously took some time and said, look, oh, I have boy. this problem. <laughs> A lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, I, I've got to fix this problem somehow. And you've gone through many iterations of this product. As, as you go to his Kickstarter page, you can see he's gone through several, several uh, iterations of this because there were four or five videos. Am I, am I correct on that four or five that you went through? Yeah, there's a bunch of different iterations. Actually, right now, but um, I've got a, a file folder that's got about an inch and a half thick of paper, just all my sketches and drawings throughout this process, figuring out how to, how to design this thing. And this actual CAD model in my 3D CAD uh, system uh, is number 42. 
Wow, so there's more than five. He's <laughs> number oh, man, two. I've been pounding on this thing. You wouldn't believe it. Every little, every inch of it has just been, whew. How long have you been working on this idea? From uh, from paper on this one to d uh, design? Uh, a good year, yeah, even a little bit more. Um, the cradle itself, almost two years, getting that, all the little kinks and twinks and everything figured out, uh, right down to some of the cool things like here on the tip of the cradle, right here where it actually touches your phone, that is a rubber overmold. So the main body of the cradle is injection molded plastic, and then it goes back into a second mold, and they injection mold rubber over just the tips, just like the hand grips on a, uh, a cordless drill or the good grips in your um, a kitchen or a toothbrush that has a little overmold. Right. Same idea. It's got the overmold rubber. It's beautiful. It allows also for not scratching your phone because, I mean, for the iPhone yep. 4, <clears throat> that, has, that has that metal band around it. People don't like getting that scratched. Or exactly. any of those nice phones that have the nice edge around it, people don't want that edge scratched. So now that you have that you know, rubber overmold instead of a pla hard plastic, you're not going to scratch that edge, which is yep. awesome. So we love that. Um, tell us a little bit about... You know, you've had some updates between now and then. And matter of fact, I think it was someone from Germany or Holland or something like that has sent you a, an idea for having weights across the bottom, I think is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. He just uh, sent that in out of the blue. Actually, in the Kickstarter project, we've gotten a lot of uh, feedback, which is the great thing about Kickstarter. You get a lot of feedback, ideas, suggestions, uh, questions that provoke further product development. Um, it, those won't be able to go into this iteration because, well, I'll let the cat out of the bag. We uh, actually now have the injection tooling made. So these parts that I'm showing you are out of injection uh, tooling molds that are, um, I mean, they're many thousands of dollars, many hundreds of pounds, and they are just luscious. I, I wish I could show you more detail. Actually, the, the photographs on the Kickstarter page are the ones I did of the uh, what's called off tooling prototype so they're actually from the tooling and they're just they're luscious i just i'm flabbergasted i think the latest and the the smallest one actually well i shouldn't say smallest but the latest update that you have is now for those of you who have purchased i think you're allowing uh to do a extra add-on you're allowing up to i want to say 16 or 17 characters or something along the lines well, of a business actually model. what it is yeah, well, we can do uh, 30 characters of laser engraving. Let me bring it a little closer here across the front of the cradle. Or we can also do a pad print, which is the same technology used for doing the, uh, the labels on the keys on your keyboard, right? So it doesn't wear off. And we can do a pad print right across the front of this guy. So we could have it say Text Nation right across the front of that. <laughs> which would be great because that's what we're going to be using these things for. Absolutely. You bet. Well, I would like to congratulate you though, because sitting at your page right now, you have a little over 1,700 backers. You have 17 days to go, and it looks like you only had a goal of $20,000 hoping to get yep. that. Well, you have well surpassed that, sir. You are at $42,000. dollars that amazing. Is, I love it. <laughs> that is great. awesome. So <laughs> your, your next few months are going to be very, very busy on top of the business that you already have that, you know, you've been doing this for years. So are you, are you prepared for that? We'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I have a, a partner in it and a couple of employees as well um, in other parts of my business. You know, I'm a portrait artist in Portland. Um, I have a, a studio, which is what I'm sitting in right now. And I have a couple of employees for that. And of course, they've been They've been co-opted for this project right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd like to thank you for spending time with us, taking time out of your day. And we would like for you to tell us where people can find you online, what to follow up to keep up with you. Well, uh, first off, on the uh, Slingshot, you can go to woxom.net. That's W-O-X-O-M.net. And that also has a link there over to the Kickstarter page, or you can go straight to Kickstarter and search for Slingshot, because um, it's, of course, shaped like a slingshot. Uh, or you can um, also learn more about me. You can go to charleswa.com, and that's C-H-A-R-L-E-S-W-A-U-G-H.com, and that's my portrait site. Well, thank you, Charles, again, for very much for spending time with us. And, again, you have a wonderful afternoon, and hopefully you get to tell your fans you were on Text Nation TV. Thank you much, Rusty. See ya. See ya.